Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Snatch. <laughs> nah, go on, go on. That's Hello go. everyone. No fizzy drink for me today. Yep. Um, hey guys, welcome back to Set the Tone. You're here with John Smarty, Marlon. Back with another episode this week. Uh, thank you everyone so much for listening. Uh, whether you watch this and listen to it a couple of days later, or you're on your way home from a night shift, you're listening to this in the car, we really appreciate it. And um, just know that we're trying to give you something worth listening to every week. Yeah. yeah. We actually had like a really good response for the first two eps back. Yeah, hugely. Um, that sounds surprised. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, and not at all. Yeah. And I just... Um, you know, I'm really grateful for people because people come up to us and they're like, say, you know, hey, you know, great stuff. I love listening to you guys. Yeah. And I just want to apologize to, you know, all our, you know, loyal supporters. If you come up to Marty and he's a fucking dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. Because he has a tendency to do that. Yeah. Yeah. He, the thing you have to know is Marty's on the spectrum. <laughs> so, it really is. So <laughs> if you meet him and he seems a bit off, he's not really making eye contact. Yeah. That's the reason. It's not that he doesn't hate you guys. No, he, he does hate you yeah, guys. Say, it's not that he hates you guys. <laughs> Both of these guys are on the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, that's no, right. Sorry, it's not that he hates you guys. He just takes some time to warm up to people. Correct. Yeah, he actually just saves all his. Um, he actually just saves all his social energy for the podcast. Yes, yeah. and then so every other time yeah. he's having to meet people. Yeah, he's just a cunt. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so when I'm speaking on Marty's behalf. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know. Even though he might seem like a cunt, he's not. He's a sweetheart. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the reason we say that is because we had feedback from our supporters. Yeah. That you know they saw Marty out on the street and they're like, oh, you know, like I want to go say hi and say you know I love the pod. Yeah. And they just got flat ignored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, they did. We so, got Marty here to address these comments. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just your side of the story, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it's not like that at all. Um, to be fair, I might not be the the most um, socialite. I'm the biggest socialite. Yeah, um, which is fine. Which is fine, I think. Um, that's that, really. Yeah, it's as long as you're, you know, when you provide the content to the people, it's hilarious, and it always is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? I oh, was just making sure it was recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> and is it? <laughs> um. And then you know, just be yourself when you when you nah, meet them in person. Love you guys. These guys, you're over exaggerating it. You yeah, hey, yeah. We it's do. just because the thing is, none of you guys ever come up to these guys. Genuinely, so, and so I think it's just a no, bit of come up to me. I think oh. it's a bit of bit of salt. Oh, a bit of salt. Um, okay, yeah. Mum doesn't count. Yeah, mum doesn't count. Um, so I appreciate you guys. I might not be the most uh, out the gate um, socially. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm definitely appreciative. Yeah. Yes. And um, very present. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, also Marty's right. No one does come up to me. So like I am part of this podcast, guys. So if you see me, please feel free to come yep. say hello. Yeah. Yeah. I think Marty's just getting accustomed to his celebrity status. Well yeah, he's famous, dude. He's, he's famous time. now. So um yeah. yeah. So if you see all three of us out together, come up to me and Jonty. Please and, and yeah. you'll have a good interaction. Yeah, we'll know? be kind. Yeah. But also if you want to come up to me, I will be better. Yeah. <laughs> I will be better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he's already running out of steam. Yeah. He's already running out of steam. Um, our neighbor yeah. absolutely loves you. Has got all the time in the world for you. Yeah. Uh, stops to have a chat. Oh, how are you going? Big smile in the mornings. Yeah. Your flatmate, aka me, who's equally as friendly to her. Yeah. Like, because I don't really know her yet. Like, we haven't been introduced. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not um, confident enough to, like, start a conversation. But yeah. I definitely give her the smile and eyebrows yeah. Yeah. and just get absolutely blanked in return um just get nothing yeah just to preface this so we live in like a complex so all the houses are connected to each other yeah so we got like this little community neighborhood vibe going on tell you what i feel i don't feel a part of the community at all right so like everyone you know how hi how are you good morning and then we all have a car park where you've got to everyone has to walk past everyone's house to get to that car park so then there's a lot of interaction going on yeah. um you know taking out the trash whatever. yeah yeah so then when i see said neighbor it's always like a, yeah what up g'day you know how, how you doing and then oh, howdy uh, howdy there it is and then apparently whenever jaunty sees a specific neighbor she just gives him no time it's almost like i don't even live there yeah because you try to make eye contact with I her really too eh? <laughs> almost to a creepy uh degree where yeah. i like I, go, I like search her out <laughs> yeah maybe that's why <laughs> yeah. she yeah, feels creeped out maybe but i'm just trying to be your friend yeah you i know? know but she like she like actively like tries to like not engage with you eh? absolutely and also like 
I don't want to be mean, but kind of like um, stink eyes me a little bit. Yeah. Like kind of like resting butch face me a little bit. Yeah. Which I'm like, okay. Why are don't you want to be part of the, Are you part of the WhatsApp group? No, and I think that's that's where part of it. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, you're not you're not a team player. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. probably it. And and so maybe it's like, oh, he doesn't even live here. Yeah. Situation. You know, so I don't need to invest in this relationship. Yeah. Well, oh no, I, she I, definitely knows you live there. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Trying to make myself she definitely yeah. knows you live there, and it's not it's not about investing in relationship. What she actively gives you yeah. stink face. So, oh, so she's like, hey, dude, I don't want to be friends. Yeah. And the yeah. funniest part is because every single time Dante like tries to interact with her, he comes home and he's just fucking I'm furious. <laughs> he's like, she fucking ignored me again. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> at this time, I'm I just literally envision him like literally like looking at her like, yo. <laughs> Like honestly, even you've given her a smile and she's just nothing back at Yeah, it. and I think I think my next move is gonna be like, hey. Yeah. And then maybe just even like say her name. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then that's either gonna go two ways. That's yeah. gonna be like, okay, well now I kinda have to be yeah. polite and, and make conversation, or how the fuck does he know my name? Yeah. yeah. Run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Um I mean, yeah, it'd probably be the the, the, the first one. You think so? She'll she'll be interested. Well you you'd think so, because you clearly know each other. You know her name. Mm. And you interact with her, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I really hope so because I'm trying to be a part of the community and a good neighbor. That's yeah. all, really. Maybe start by being part of the group chat. Yeah. Perhaps, but then there's yeah. a lot of. I mean, if anyone's ever been part of like a neighborhood group chat, you know how intense it is. You know what? You know what I think it is is um, when you guys sit outside in your outdoor area. Yeah. They can hear your conversations. Fair. Yeah. And if I were her, I'd want no part of it. I want no part of you. <laughs> yeah. But why him though? Because he's still he's as whack too. Because if she, if <laughs> she <laughs> wait, 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 what? Because if she ignores him, yeah, it's racist. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You, yeah. You're ambiguous, so she's Damn. like. You know what's funny though is because um, so this chick is a I guess quintessential white girl, mm. right? What what makes her a quintessential white girl? Oh, just you know, like what's that um. The thing all the girls hold now. <laughs> no, I don't fucking know, dude. A it's, vape? No, it's like the it's like the drink. It's like the um, oh, like the drink bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Frank Greens. There we go. Frank yeah. Greens. Yeah, all of that. It? It's like the pop and like uh, water bottle for white girls. Yeah, wasn't it like a Stanley in the states or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that has everyone has this run. Uh, yeah. Um, CrossFit, the whole shebang. Oh my god, you yeah. know what I mean? We don't want like yeah. I guess we yeah. don't want to give her away her identity, but yeah, no, you she's know? definitely one of them. Um, <laughs> Harry Styles concerts, the whole sh- whole shebang. Yeah, yeah. 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 Taylor Swift, all right. That. And then, but we have a very nice um, neighbor next to her, who's, who's an Indian woman, yep. and she tries to make conversation with Jonti, <laughs> but it's rolls in reverse in that situation because <laughs> Jonti has no time for her. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even sometimes everyone here, like I, I'm in the house, I just hear hi, hi, Jonti, hi, and then he just walks inside the house. <laughs> So and you, I'm, I'm you, now, you, I'm, yeah. You give me so much grief, right? Well, yeah. For supposedly not giving <laughs> people their time. Yeah, yeah. You know? time. You were shocking, bro. <laughs> you know. So I'm just like, what's happening here? Hey, you know? explain um, yourself. It's, yeah. it's the neighborhood food chain. <laughs> 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 we're, we're, we're all just trying to climb it, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, I, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say hello to next door. Yeah, She's trying to say hello, hello to me. me. You know? Yeah. Like, what's going on here? It is what it is. Um. It's, do you know what it is? It's, um, I know that's always going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But with this one, I'm yeah. on the hunt, you know, like Hunted. I'm trying to secure. Yeah. You yeah. should see when all three of them are outside, mate, it's a fucking show. <laughs> hey. You just see, she's like, hey, Johnny, Johnny, which is weird because they've never interacted either. <laughs> but she knows my name somehow. And then Josh is just staring at, uh, oh, mate, walking past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. Would well, you reckon it's awkward if I like knock on her door at some point and go, "Hey, hey, guy!" Like I know yeah. you walk past all the yeah. time. I what's, think what's your deal? I think it's <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Eh? I think at this point you have to because you've been trying. I really haven't. We've been yeah. there for a year now, and you gotta break the ice somehow. Yeah, I need to. Well, if only my flatmate helped me out, who's in there already. Do you yeah. think maybe she's got caught with of how you treat? Your Indian neighbor. That's it. And so she just, you know. Yeah. It's like when you're on a date and you're rude to the wait staff and then the um girl you're with like it's like, oh it's a ick. Oh, I can't relate. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean I think you can. Um I'm not rude to wait staff. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. Might be an ick, but like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not rude to wait staff. Yeah. Um yeah, you're right. So maybe maybe it she might be that, you know. Maybe they're colluding and going, Oh, well he never he's got never, never got time for me mm. and then so yeah, the one that I'm trying to hit up, it's like are oh, you trying to hit her up? No, like hit up as in like as a neighbor. 
Oh, that's the name we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, now you understand? Yeah. yeah I'm, trying to, I'm just yeah. trying to be her neighbor. And um, mm. yeah, real neighborly. Yep. Real neighborly, yeah. She's not, she's not having it. Mm. Maybe I, yeah, I need to go over, like borrow something or something. Yeah. How, how do you kind of solve the situation? Because now it's gotten to a point where like- She listens uh, to gospel music. Yeah. So maybe I go over like, hey, do you have any gospel music recommendations <laughs> <Yeah>. for me? <laughs> hey. <do> you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what would you do in my situation? Um, truthfully, please. Or what I Tell think the, the correct answer is. <laughs> um, the way I operate, I probably tend to um, one or two things. Okay. Either continue to just never interact, or maybe move out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might yeah. just trying to fill all the houses, uh, spots in his house. Actually, he's like, <laughs> funny enough, though, we got a room here. Yeah, so that's just a write off. You just move out at that point. Yeah, but it's been a year, bro. Yeah. I know, dude. Yeah. You know, like imagine yeah. how many questions she's asked in her head yeah. about you. Yeah. Yeah. That haven't been answered. Um, that alone yeah. is a scary, you know? And yeah. I can't preface this enough. They have walked past each other all the time, multiple times. Oh, you share a driveway. Yeah, you share, exactly. You share bins. Correct. You, exactly. You trade. Um, stairs and not yeah. only that, well, one person trades trade stairs. <laughs> yeah. <Huh? laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> not only that, when she like drives past, I like look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, bro. That's what it is. You know what? You know what's happened is um, that you you're in the group chat, right? Yes. They've got another group chat without you two in it. Yeah, yeah. And the your neighborhood watch the the hit the big honcho. Yeah, yeah. he sees you peeping out. He tells her. Yeah. yeah. The creep said it again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Stay inside. Hey, and, you know what? And John T's also at home. Yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> there it is. Um, you know what it is? It's because, uh, you know how people have a resting bitch face? John D has a resting serial killer face. You know what I mean? Yeah. He has a resting creep face. I really need to work on that. Those are two very different things. Oh, wow. Uh, is it? Creep and serial killer. Okay. Yeah. I guess one, one or the other, I do definitely have. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to work on that. But also, like, I'm all, I'm trying to be a bit of a neighborhood watch too. Like, I'm trying to look out for- Just for her. <laughs> You're trying to look out for her. Just for her safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to look out for her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll let you guys know how I, how I track with that. Yeah. Because I do want to be her friend. What are your next steps? Uh, <laughs> Besides, hey, and her name. Well, I just have to get more aggressive. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. No, you know? That's the thing. That's, that's your only option. Yeah. Because you, know? you tried playing a cool- Exactly. That didn't really work. And if I fall back, well, then that's that. It's dead in the water. And if it doesn't work, if this next approach does not work, well, we don't know. You know what the next approach is. Like, could no, you but regardless, that? whatever the next thing is, oh, yeah. I think, I think, I think I'm gonna start using my voice. Yeah. Can Can you? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if you address her, yeah, like clear as day, and like, there's no like, there's no. She, you've, she's definitely heard you. Yeah. She's definitely seen you. <laughs> and so no, she hasn't heard me. She hasn't heard no, no, me. No, she's, next she's definitely heard you. Oh, okay. So yeah, she's yeah, yeah. She's, you, you've, you've said her name. Yeah. She's looking at you and then just leaves. What do you do then? Then I just move out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No then point. I yeah. just, yeah. Because we live close enough that she could hear the chats that we're having at yeah. home. Yeah. 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 And which, which would make a lot of sense as to why she does ignore me because we have some fucking stupid chats. Yeah. Yeah. So but, are you just going to be like, Hi, are you gonna you gonna vocalize it now? I'm gonna start with a oh hey, how you going? Off off to the gym, are we? Yeah. Why are you using your puppy voice? <laughs> Cause I'm trying to be friendly, my man. Fuck. <laughs> you know, like oh, like have a good workout. Yeah. Oh, I heard you. <laughs> Nancy, now this is just getting too creepy. Cause oh, I heard you listen to some cosmic music the other day. <laughs> What sort of yeah? What sort of artist are you? I reckon you just go all out, mate. Yeah, and she goes, "Oh, do you listen to gospel music too?" Yeah, be like, yeah. love it. Yeah, <laughs> right, I listen to yeah. it on my way to CrossFit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there it is. You'd never believe it. Yeah. Oh, and, okay. This might be coming away too much, but never mind. No won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. yeah. yeah, Marlon has come across her social media. Oh, and so, I have. And yes. so, and so, yeah. and so, um. Knows a little bit more about her yeah. than I do. And yeah, and he shared that with me. Yes. And so is it, is it then creepy that I just like take stuff out of the 100%. social media? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I saw on your uh, Instagram the other day. Yeah. yeah, that's a little weird. And she goes, I didn't even know your name. But hey, I'll, I'll let you guys know how I track with, with being a friendly neighbor, guys. Yeah. Maybe you could use Marlon as the bridge. Like, hey, Miles mentioned. Oh, good know, shout. You know, Miles mentioned you love gospel music. Yeah, Miles mentioned Even, yeah. you're into CrossFit. I'm just recovering from my ACL from CrossFit. Any tips? Any pointers? Yeah, you know, do you need a spotter? 
See, this is I like that, man. That's why I come yeah. to you for stuff like that. Nice, yeah, on yeah. how to make friends and when yeah. pin- influence people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you've been a really bad neighborly wingman, to be honest. Have I? Yeah. Okay. With all of them, you're like tight and in there with all of them. Yeah. And you can easily be like, oh, hey, by the way, guys, this is my flatmate. He lives yeah. with me too. But they're always just like, oh, is it the guy just stares at us out the, at the fucking window? Yeah. You should be like, yeah, he is quite friendly. Yeah. Just ignore, just get, once you get past the weird stare. <laughs> That's his way of trying to make friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know about all their lives and stuff. One just had recently had a kid and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. So I think you need to do a better job as well. Okay. So it's on me. Well, not completely. I'm not helping my case. Yeah. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> but, yeah. But you could really step up too. Maybe, maybe next time when we have a, because um, we often, well, they often try to have these like neighborly catch ups. Yeah. Uh, like annual meetings. Um, why don't you come along? Yeah, seems like a hassle, but I will because yeah. I, I do want to make some friends. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I will. I will do that. I will do that. Um, maybe start with um. <laughs> your <eyebrows>. Yeah, bro. <laughs> maybe start with addressing your um, the auntie, the neighbor. Oh yeah, yeah the one being friendly with her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. I got to pay my dues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in the cycle. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Be kind to everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Sure that ne- start with the auntie. I will. Start I will. there. You're right. Um, what else we got today? You had an interaction with an auntie? Please? I did have an interaction with an auntie. That's yeah. right. You did. So I was just at my local countdown. Where a lot of my stories actually take place. Mm. Um, so I finished my shopping and then go to the checkout, the self-checkout aisles. So now I'm, um, you know, beeping whatever, scanning the items. <laughs> yeah. And you know how sometimes items don't scan properly, so you got to get the person that's kind of monitoring the self checkouts to come and you know, beep 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 beep. Yeah, good to go. So then I looked, and it's like you know, an Indian auntie. Um, so I was like, ah, one of my kind. So I was like, ah, I'm gonna get preferential treatment here. So I look over her, and she just she looks at me, and she does what um, our neighbor does, Johnny, <laughs> <laughs> right? Looks at me, oh. and then just looks away. Tough feeling, hey. Hundred <laughs> percent. So I had to kind of like take a couple steps to her and be like, hey. And she just looks at me again and she just shakes her head. She's just like. She waves you off. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just, what the fuck's she's going just on? Playing ISO. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And then I look down and she's like, she's looking down. So I'm, I'm like seeing what she's looking so she's at. She's gesturing to. Yeah. No. And then she's like going like this. So I'm like, all right, fucking Cristiano Ronaldo. Like, I don't know what's <laughs> going on here. She's yeah. like, pump the brakes. So I'm like, Ooh, okay. And then there's this white couple next to her. Oh, no. Who's also. Um, Scanning their items, but they're taking like a long time, mm. and they're being a bit coy about it. They're looking around because now I'm just observing these two, and so Indian auntie thinks she's being sly, but in reality she's like fucking right over their shoulders, oh, yeah. and she's looking, and then so she's like stares at them the, the entire time. So they kind of they're still there, and then she comes to me eventually because I'm like fuck, it's been like five minutes, mm. and she's like, oh you know sorry darling, I was like got there a darling, go. there there you go. we're in now, and then she's like um. I these people they're they're trying to steal. Oh, okay. She knew she 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 had a hot lead. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, Oh, how do you know? She was like, Oh no, no, like, you know, they'll they'll try to keep like they'll try to pretend to scan items and put it into their um like jump and shit. Uh, so I was like, Oh cool. And then she looks at me, she's like, oh, you know, you know white people. <laughs> and I'm just like But a role reversal. Yeah, I was like, Wait, what? What do you mean you know white people? And then I was like, wait a minute, has it changed? Are like white people now the new brown people? Whoa, 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 firstly, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you know what I mean? That's Relax with that, man. Yeah, are, are, are we, I don't share that sentiment, by the way. Because she said, you know white people. Yeah, they be stealing. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I was like, damn, is it like reverse discrimination now? Well, yeah, now that we're in charge. Yeah. Now that we're the um, hall monitors. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> yeah. now, now we're in positions of power. Exactly. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, maybe. That 100%. might be the case. This cost of living is affecting everyone, Straight bro. Up. Even Susan. Because your auntie, she's just like, yo, just put this under your jumper, walk out, I won't tell anyone. Yo, so she's yeah, trying to say it. So I was like, right, you know, hey, <laughs> listen, go. I'm happy with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now I was just like, damn, like, you know, we fought so hard to get to the mountaintop. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. As a collective people. And, um, you know, are white people, are we, do we hate white people? <laughs> 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 you know? Uh, yeah. I think what it is, is um, the cost of living is ridiculous. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> I try to justify stealing. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just saying how it's starting to affect um, the other side. The right. everyday man. Yeah. 
Uh, I think what it, what what it's coming down to is actually not that point. Um, they are starting to like they're slipping through the cracks, right? And so they they they're taking the opportunities. They're seizing the day. Oh, you know, they the person who was stealing saw you mm. and thought maybe hey that's that guy is gonna be getting all the attention. Yeah, so it's my chance to fake scan and steal. Ah, uh, but they didn't know that until it was on on tour. They didn't know. Yeah, hundred percent. So I think what it is is like. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, great now we're blank. <laughs> or maybe they're like, "Wow, the Browns have been doing it for so long." Yeah, maybe it's our turn. Yeah, you know, which Let's is crazy. Why is it crazy? Is it crazy though? It's pretty understandable. It's yeah. like it's like bro, like it's like in the game of league, bro. When um, first half, someone could, the team could get have like eighty percent position. Yeah, and they're up big. Once the position starts to even out. You see a comeback. Exactly. I think that's where we're at now in society. Yeah, we're seeing a bit of a comeback. Yeah, so you've got to stay in the arm wrestle long enough. That's and it. And the whites have stayed in the arm wrestle and are now seizing the opportunity. Correct. But. <laughs> that's a great analogy. What? Yeah, okay. That's so a great analogy. analogy. Wait, who's who's doing the comeback? Us or white people? They're the whites, The bro. whites are doing the comeback in oh, terms okay. of, you know, like. Crime rate. Crime rate. Right. Crime rate stats, mean. they're getting up there now. Yeah. Hence yeah. the flipping um, perception, like, you know the white people. Yeah. You know the whites, you know. Well, we don't know because we, we don't see it every day. It's not she in the gets the, yet. She's at a position of power yep. where she gets to see this play out. She's ahead of the curve. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's ahead I of the curve. It, yeah. The mainstream hasn't caught on yet. Yeah. I just didn't think in my lifetime I would get a, you know, you know how white people are. Mm. Yeah. Especially as it pertains to stealing. Yes. Also, because yeah. you and the scientists are in very different fields. Yes, we are. So where she gets to have the bird's eye view in her field. You are the bird being viewed. Mm. That's wow. great from you, know what I mean? man. That's oh, a damn. good one. From yeah, you. yeah that was, that in your in your in your space. Yeah, so. yeah. For you, it's a big shock. For her, this is her norm now. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is just stock standard. Yeah. yeah. Damn, you're a bird, bro. I'm a bird. That you're was crazy. That was that was a gem for you. You're a little bird on the ground, just getting yeah. viewed on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, they just yeah. get viewed on, bro. You know, you just might be getting viewed on. Yeah, this but is like your like your neighbor. Yeah. Just gets viewed. Yeah, on. just gets viewed yeah, on. She's exactly. a bird getting viewed on for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, no, shout out to the auntie, bro. Keeping us safe though. Straight up. Yeah, I don't want no anchor milk getting stolen from countdown from yeah. my local countdown. You, buy, you still buy anchor? No, no, no. But this day is crazy, man. Yeah, but if if I was to steal something, that's, it would be anchor. Yeah, because yeah, you'd mm. flip that on the black market. Oh, can you say that? Oh yeah, can we say black market? That's the white market now. <laughs> well, it's just the market, eh? Yeah, it's just the market. Why can't it be the white market? You know? Well, yeah, now it is because yeah. then the blacks, the the, the um, key. no, <laughs> you say though, you you reverse and call the white market, then everyone be like, we can't have anything. Yeah, you can't have anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they gentrify everything. But then yeah, they're, they're I'm like, yeah, this has a mad negative connotation. You still want it? That's it. Yeah, so you can't win, man. Hundred. Like, um, do you guys want to talk about? This is a we're going a little bit rogue, but do you guys want to talk about that video you sent where um. You can't use black memes these days? Yeah. Refresh. I will. Refresh me. So I saw a little segment, um, oh, I think it was the BBC or something, and they were talking about how using things like the Crying Jordan meme and like any sort of like video with a black person in it as like a comedy thing it's a meme, is, essentially. is racist. It's yeah. a form of racism. They call it digital blackface. That's yeah. right. That's what they used. Yeah. Yep. I was like, and so what's like the crying Jordan, the Will Smith crying face. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Digital blackface. All of those. Yeah, I guess because because you're using black people as the butt of the joke, but you're not really. No, I think it's just like it's no, there's no. It's it's tough because like there's no malice. Like when I'm laughing, I'm like that's just objectively funny. Yeah. yeah. You know, it could have been me there. It could have been. It could have been my white neighbor. Exactly. It could have been anyone. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. So I was like, let's just. Just shut up. And it's like it's not even like, <laughs> but you can't you can't tell them that. Nah, you, know? you can, like, and we should. Let no, but you, they, like, you can tell them, but they're not going to hear it. No, no, no. Of course not. That's yeah, why I was like, bro. But you need like that sort of um, sentiment. I reckon needs to be stamped out like early. You know, what is the sentiment exactly? Because that that uh, using digital blackface is a thing. Yeah, they're using black people memes as racism. Yeah, like, come on, dude. What are we talking about right now? If anything, like it's just it just adds to how elite blacks are. Yeah, exactly. Like the fact You're that good at everything. Legit, the, the fact that like someone's crying yeah. and it's one of the funniest things ever. 
Like it's it's he's done it well. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's done a meme well. Hundred percent. You know, I was yeah. like, come on. And he's addressed it in the past, so yeah. like you know, like it's all good. Mm. Yeah, I think being a uh, like a cultural or like a staple meme is like a good thing. It's fire because when you think about it, like all the early um, memes were actually just all white people, like yeah. the little baby. Kind of that, that old yeah. man, um, the old confused man, yeah, the guy. yeah. like and the, the guy with the hat backwards, yeah, the weird dude, yeah. So, like, all the like real early like Facebook memes were all just white people, exactly. And as with everything, black people got a hold of it and just rose to the top, yeah, you know. So, again, it's a testament to how good you are. <laughs> like, do these people ever get tired of just like trying to find talking points to like get upset at? Well, clearly not, because they could be doing it, heaps. Doing it bro. yeah, yeah. I think it's, yeah. It's one of those things where I guess everyone wants just to find an issue with something. You yep. know, people just can't live their lives. But the problem with that is um, then we become like the fucking angry old men sitting around the pub being like, oh, like fucking no one can take a joke these days. Yeah, it's a real, it's a balance, eh? Yeah, it's a balance. And I, to your point just before, it's like, it's because, and I don't again sound like an angry old man, but it's because social media, if you like, want to have a little you want to have a bit of a run on social media just get on there for like five minutes and have a take on something like this yeah and then boom you're fucking you're going for it you're yeah. on fire yeah so not everyone needs a microphone you know oh so we've been told <laughs> yeah so we've been told <laughs> get, told. Up. <laughs> get told weekly bro yeah. yeah not everyone needs a podcast guys nah yeah you know what's interesting though of, of the hate we received which has been a lot mm. um it hasn't really been racial uh has it not I don't think so. That's okay. That's at least at least that's a positive. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's been racial. Um, I mean, you don't know. Nah, maybe some of those early clips. Maybe some of the early clips. Oh, some of those. Some of yeah, actually, some of the early ones that went popped off. But what do they say? I mean, a lot of them popped off, but some of the early ones that popped off. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think there was a bit of racial. Um, something. It was racially it. motivated. Yeah. Yeah. But they they hit it nicely with their wording. <laughs> I think oh, yeah. if you go back, if you go back and see it, like you. You just look at the the profile pictures, mm. and, and you know what time you just it is. know what time it is. Yeah, right. Yeah. So even hates getting progressive, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, I, legit, I legit like haters getting progressive. Yeah, because you got to tiptoe a lot. Yeah. So you look, yeah. How can I get my point across? Yeah. Whether it's valid or not, without getting scrutinized. Yeah. Yeah. We just get told this is shit content. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's not like this is shit content, you monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's certainly not that. Yeah. yeah. Well, go back to your homeland. Yeah. Yeah. Although, so, nah. <laughs> although, although, nah. <laughs> so, fair enough. Uh, well, how do we even get onto that? Oh, the blackface thing. Yeah. Digital um, blackface. That's crazy. Yeah. Cut that shit out, man. Cut that I out. mean, like, I I, I get why why it could be raised because, like, people, uh, there's people out there with a lot, like, a lot of malice, right? Yes. But for the most, like, and have, like, ill intent towards black people or, or like, you know, and then there's also like culture vultures and stuff. Mm. But at the same time, like, if the people who uh, whose face is being used are backing it, and you know it's it's actually like objectively funny, mm. and they're all for it, just let it be. Yeah. yeah. Like, who are you to tell them that they can't be happy with like people laughing and enjoy getting enjoyment of whatever they've whatever they've done? Yeah. There's no need for us to be outraged on their behalf. That's what an ally is, Martin. <laughs> there it is. Okay. That's I Marty's favorite word. word also, there's uh, plenty of um, real racism and discrimination out there. Like, we don't need to get upset about That's trivial shit saying. like That's this. Like, like, yeah. you know, like, no one, like, people don't even pick and choose their battles now. Yeah. They Every just, battle they choose. They just throw everything at the wall. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, sorry. Just, we've got to take a step back here because I was just thinking when we're talking about John, uh, Dante being ignored uh, by our neighbor. She's probably thinking, um, what happened to all the good men in Auckland? <laughs> I hate your segues, dude. And which is yeah, funny. I, I hate your segues. Which, which is yeah. funny, funny that I bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> Just talk to myself. I absolutely, <laughs> I, Welcome look, back to the Marlon show. Yeah. Marlon, I absolutely hate your segues. Yeah. But I also agree. I think what she's thinking is, why have I not seen Marty? Yeah. For the past... Seven months. Yes, yes. You know? that's true. That's yeah. true because you guys have interacted. Yeah, we have, we have. Which is a real shame because you've got it further of <laughs> those two interactions than <laughs> I have. Yeah, you've got it further in seven months. <laughs> yeah, <than laughs> that's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She is probably thinking, "Where are all the good men yeah. in Auckland?" 
which is funny I bring that up because I saw a TikTok recently. Yes. Where um this girl was also very much complaining, hey, this is the problem with Auckland City. Oh, was it? Did, was it a? Yeah, it's an Auckland oh, okay, specific, okay. a specific one. Which yeah, she's like, was. where are all the men in Auckland? You know, but the dating game is dry. And I, I was reading through the comments too, because I'm, you know, I'm interested in this stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Market research for the one person listening to this. Um, <laughs> and um, the comments were saying, yeah, like I'm moving to Australia because I, I just there's no dating game here. Oh, the girls, girls yeah, are okay. girls are they because there's no dating game. They're moving overseas. Wow. It's clear that they're all at home recording podcasts. Yeah. You know? like it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. It's pretty obvious what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to look too far. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> you just have to slide in the DM. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, lads, what's happening? What's happening to, to you know, all the good men in Auckland? You know, hey, you telling me, mate. As yeah. one of the um, not good ones. Yeah. You know, where are the good ones? <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you know. No, do you know what it is? The bad ones are just more visible. Yeah, they out there. They out there. They out, out there in the streets. streets. Yeah. yeah, correct, correct. And so, what's happening is um, they're giving Auckland men a bad name. Yeah, I, I also think it's because um, dating is changing, and also dudes in Auckland are changing. Like you know, what I mean, take Marty for example. Yeah. Please. Now, here we go. Please, you know? please do that. Please do that. Marty uh, is, again, handsome guy. Yep. Charming. Trick. Right? So he's got ladies around him. You know what I mean? Yes. And credit to him. He's like, listen, I'm not trying to you know, play around. I want to find the one. Yeah. But, you know, he'll chat to girls. But then what does he say to us? He's like, oh, listen, I'm just seeing them. He does. He does do that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. You're trash, Miles. You're trash, and, man. Yeah. and then we're like, "What yeah. do you mean by seeing?" But like, he's seeing multiple at the exactly. same time. Oh, like, he's, he's, he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, he's like, oh, see, he's like, you know, this is. But yeah, we I'm like, jungle I, when we start yeah, talking. Yeah. Nah. He's like, I'm just visually seeing them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's what he says. Do you know what I mean? So I reckon it's uh, the part of the problem with men in Auckland is that they can't commit. That's right. But also part of the problem was Marty's definition of seeing. He just thought he was using a sign. <laughs> and he's like, why are you pissed off? I'm, I'm seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah, bro, I've been seeing like four or five girls. <laughs> She's like, what? Hey, it's like, yeah, I just see them. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you're part of the problem, dude. Exactly. It's No, sorry. The, the, the reason why I say I bring this up and specifically point out Marty is because Marty is the mysterious one. You know what I mean? Correct. And he's, I feel like maybe that's, maybe that's part of the problem. What, that he's too mysterious? No, maybe dudes in Auckland are just too mysterious, you know? Oh, you know? okay. Okay, that could be part of the problem. It could be, but I'm not part of the problem. <laughs> I think... <laughs> that's good. I'll chime in soon. <laughs> Firstly, I just want to say, all men can get in the bin, all right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's where I stand. Exactly. I stand with all men can get in the bin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think... I think some of them aren't helping their cause with with what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think like, in all seriousness, um, <laughs> when it, I don't think it's like... It's not, there's not good men here. I think um, there's a, f- a few categories that people fall into where they're like, but it doesn't make them not good men. Yeah. Right? There can be p- people who are like, aren't really out there and lack confidence, right? And so they're just not putting themselves out there. Mm-hmm. I could fall into that somewhat. Okay. Right? And then you got guys who... Um, you guys want to chime in soon? Yeah. <laughs> I think you have the categories lined up. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I just I went blank again. But yeah. like, I, yeah, I, I don't think there's like, is not, um, is not, not. Good it's all about here. context. I think it's all about context. It's all about context. Also, yeah. it's yeah. like what makes a good man because it's not like when these women out here are looking for a good man. Mm. Their version of a good man is not just personality. What is it? It's physical. It's 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 everything. Status, it's, yeah. every, it's, it's everything. Yes. So they 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 won't go to Oz because they see on Instagram. Oh, yeah. This, they got this the hunk, athlete. You know, they, you know, rowdy, rowdy, rah. Yeah. And a lot of them, you know, can be good guys, but then a lot of them are for the streets. Hundred percent. They're so yeah. Their yeah. version of a good guy is quite you know it's quite warped. Also, so you, yeah, go. you go. So you essentially say lower your standards. No, 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 no. It's not lower your standards. 
Just adjust your standards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Redefine your standards. Yeah. You know Bring I mean? it in line with the market. Yes. It's, it's yeah, exactly. It's not, yeah. It's not, it's, it's, you gotta you gotta average it out. You gotta yeah. decide what you value. Yeah. Also where are you looking? And, and also don't lie about what you value. Say don't, that again. Don't lie about what you value. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're just not gonna get anywhere. Exactly. And that's why all men can get in the bin. hundred yeah. percent. All men can yeah, get in the bin. That's why they have that mentality. Yeah, because if you're lying about what you value and then all of a sudden that person's entering your life and you're like, no thanks, mm. well then see ya. You've done it to yourself. Then then you get on TikTok and go, Where are all the good men? Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um And all of those quote unquote good men can get in the bin. <laughs> No legit Like you know Yeah Because yeah. the, the ones that are Good men across Oz Across the ditch They tend to hurt these women Yes Who are lying about What they actually want Couldn't agree more Yeah And um, I think the, the point I want to raise was Like Because I chat to Female friends that are single mm. And um, They All they say Is they've got stories Backed up Of just terrible dates And like Horror situations Yeah and I'm like, where are you finding these guys? But now I'm thinking like, I don't think there's like, I, I yeah, I can't actually find any counterfactual points either. What do you mean? What, say like, again? like, can you can you list off ten good dudes that you would you would set up with your with your female friends? Hundred percent, I could. Ten. Uh, it's not about the number I can list. I can, I can do that. I can do I can do a few. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, do a few. It's also like it's not like a one size fits all. Yeah. yeah, you know, if it was a one size fits all, different story. Yeah, yes, but like you're not gonna get that. Yeah, if you get a one size fits all, um, that person is either perfect. Yeah, or for the streets. Oh, okay, or fake. Right, or fake. fake yes. Yes. which they can then be for the streets. Yes, that, but uh, that's what I'm trying to say because I'm even thinking that where are the good men? I know, yeah, I know a lot of dickheads, but yeah. I know a few, I know a handful of gems. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm now thinking, okay, wh- like what are the good men I know? And I'm like, damn, how f- that list, you know, ends quite quickly. Yes, and the ones that you do know, what are they doing at home recording a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you yeah. know, it gets even smaller yeah, after I know that. It does, yeah. yeah. What's your What's your philosophy when it comes to um, like a lifelong partner? Wow. In regards to like you know, so you, because I just said it's not one size fits all. Why are you laughing? No, it's just a segue. <laughs> yeah, is, it like, you don't, is, it you don't, is it because you don't believe in lifelong partners? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Another conversation is going to be had. Yeah. No, but you, do you know what I mean? Like, Go on. because I just like. Do we agree is like not one size fits all? What do you yeah, mean of course, that? yeah. Like, like one, one guy person isn't going to be right for every single oh, woman, yeah, of and course. vice versa. Yeah. Or it could be the perfect person, and you know, it makes adjustments and stuff, or is absolute trash and just fake, right? Yeah. But for the yes. most part, that's probably not the case. You're not going to be perfect for everyone. No, of course not. And so, boy, do I know that. Taking that into consideration, what's your philosophy when it comes to what was my question? Lifelong partners. Lifelong partners, like. Um, where was I going with it? I don't know. No clue. Yeah. Like, do I believe in them? Yeah. Do you believe in? Do you believe in? No, no. Obviously, like you can believe in lifelong partners, but like in terms of like getting that perfect fit, right? Not everyone's for everyone. Yeah. So to have a lifelong partner, you're gonna get that right fit. So like, you can't just have one size fits all. That's why you can't just say I don't know ten good men, because five of those guys might be good for five other people. Like different people, you know what I mean? I, th- I think, I think, I think what he means is like ten good men, ten men with good character, you know, with good uh, values, and, and so they. You may- don't know ten. What I'm trying to say is, um, these female friends that I'm chatting to, yeah, the sound it sounds terrible the way I, I try to say it. Just your friends, just my friends, yeah. Um, I'm thinking like, okay, let me look at the catalog I have mm. and who who I can set so and so up with, yeah. And I just I can't list many. Yeah, which is crazy because you've never asked me about any of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You never asked me. You also don't know many. Like you know, like not because you're not out here just having thirty five thousand friends. Yeah, that's true. So, I think majority of your friends will be good for any of your uh, friends to date. And even if that's not the case, I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because like you said, one size doesn't fit all. One size doesn't fit yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I think yeah, I think most of your friends would be good times for your female friends. Yes, don't you agree? No. Wow, so you are a hater. That's what you are. Just because you're off the market, mate, doesn't mean you need to fucking ruin it for the rest of us. John's he he thinks we're trash. That's literally that's what's yeah. happened. Um, it's it's not that I'm a hater. I'm just speaking facts. Unfortunately, that's a lie. So it turns out I actually agree with with TikTok girl that all men can get on the bin. Yeah. That, I mean, there's no good men in Auckland. 
Uh, let's flip the script. Where's all the good women in Auckland? <laughs> <laughs> nah, legit, legit. Let's you know? talk about this. Let's talk about this. That's a fair point. That's a fair yeah, point. That's a fair you point. Know? Honestly, you know what uh, I mean? no, but I can tell you where they are. Please. Yeah. Um, they are all crying because Jaunty. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because Jaunty, Jaunty ran through them. You, hey yo, um, hey yo. What, what, what I can say is, you know how they're like, I have to go to Australia to find romance. Yes. The thing is, it applies the other way because Marty had to go to Sydney to fall in love. To fall in love. Yeah. But yeah. he does that just on every weekend, though. He so does. He yeah. does. Yeah. He'd be falling in love in a rebel sport yes, on a Sunday. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I've been good for like the past seven months, bro. <laughs> you really yeah. have. It's because you've been seeing seven girls on the go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, what happened to all the good girls in Auckland then? Hey, I mean, come on, that's we're getting into some choppy waters there, boys. Yeah. I'm gonna let you carry that one <laughs> <laughs> as someone that's still on the market. <laughs> nah, nah, I, nah, nah, yeah, it's 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 weird that like, um, I've been fortunate enough to you know go overseas a couple of times in the past few months, and you can see that like there's a stark difference between um, how we carry ourselves in New Zealand and how other people do. Yeah. Like overseas. And like the confident guys, like people who are confident here, obviously, you know, like the go getters here, more often than not, get what they want. Mm. Whether it's a girl, whether it's a job, you know, whatever whatever it is. The ones that are like we look to that are confident here, like you throw them overseas, they're like mid confidence. Yeah. Which is yeah. crazy. Which is why when girls or like whoever over here sees foreigners and how they interact and stuff. They see like the utmost confidence. They're like, "That's where the good ones are. That's where the go getters are, right?" Yes. And I, and I, 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 I completely agree with it. So, so like, let me ask you this: If if the guys here were to turn it up to a hundred in terms of confidence, that, that's where the issue is. You turn the confidence up here, you're a dickhead. Yeah. You're you're arrogant. You're but out. to who? To who though? To society or to women or to, you know what I mean? Like, I think just to everyone. Oh, okay. I think definitely women. Women look at them like that could be an ick. Yeah. If you see like a confident New Zealand guy, that guy's a dickhead. But what? the same yeah. level of confidence to a guy overseas is, is attractive. Yeah. Which is why I'm like, don't like lie I to yourself. Yeah. You know, like, also like just, you gotta take that into consideration. That's why I don't think the men are trash. I mean, there's a lot of trash men out there. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of trash women as well. Yeah. Um, But it's, you know, not, not one size fits all. Yeah. So it's like- <laughs> I couldn't agree more, yeah. It's all relative. It's like over the overseas bro, like, I. I was with some confident people who weren't so confident there. Yeah. And it was a good eye opener. But then it's hard. You come back here and we've got tall poppy and all that stuff. It's just like, turn it down a bit. Yeah. So, but you ask for, this is what you're asking for. You're getting it and you don't want it. I have a sidebar question. Did you have anything to add to that? No, I just wanted to say- you have a lot of sidebars, um, eh? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to say that that is part of the issue where um, all the good guys are most likely shy. Mm. So, unfortunately, Stop it. yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Unfortunately, like how the paradigm shifting where white people now are the issue. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, the we'll hit all the big spots today. Racism and misogyny. Exactly. We're going to get these clickbait titles, bro. <laughs> Except for us, it's not clickbait. Like, which is just facts. Which is what we say. And also, um, the paradigm shifting in the sense of now girls have to be the hunters. Do you reckon? Yeah, hundred nah, percent. Definitely, yeah. that's true. Definitely. On a night out, it's it's. I think girls have to be the one who's like, girls have to be the ones pulling. Okay, is well, someone tell them that. Yeah, because nah, that hasn't been that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah, we're yeah. doing the people's work. Yeah, <laughs> but also like I think, like I speak for myself. Yeah, I'm very oblivious to that stuff. Yes, and yes. I'm also very like I'm quite reserved, quite yep. shy. Um, is is that an excuse though? Because you just don't want to feel like, you know, there could be a chance. I think it's like, it's all the, it's it's all the above. Like it's like I don't I can't be bothered because I like I can't be, can't be bothered with rejection. Yeah, can't be bothered with all the all the negative stuff. But also like just my personality type is like I'm not necessarily out the gate. Okay, and I I don't need to be out there, you know, to to get my confidence. Mm. But yeah, you know, like I'm I'm all good just with what I have and all that stuff. So very like content in that sense. But also like it's it is quite fun to. Push your boat out a bit. Yeah. But like I'm not gonna force it. Like, there's probably there's a lot of room for I don't I don't I don't say improvement, but there's a lot of room for like You could turn it up a little bit. You could turn it up, push the boat a little bit further. Yeah. Right? And that's that's what I got a gauge off when I went overseas. It was like, man, I don't have to push the boat that far. Yeah. But yeah, there's a bit of you know But you got a bit of And I can see the woman's point of view. It's like that's why they, they look at us and be like, Oh, we're all the good men. It's cause we're just not 
you know, just sitting back and just chilling. And so exactly, other, yeah. Which is I, which why I, I'm not I'm not mad at him for saying that. Yeah, I'm just mad at him for going overseas to find the answers. But then you can't be mad if you're not, you know, you're not doing your part. You're not doing your part. Yep. But yep. I'm saying, like, ladies, when you go out uh, into town, you've got to buy the guy you like a drink. Yeah. That's what's up. That's how it has to be these days. Equality, it, right? It's what we all want. One hundred percent. Imagine like, if a girl bought you a drink, wouldn't you be like, "Oh, okay, this is this That's is, hot. This That's is butterflies, hot. Eh? butterflies." Yeah, yeah. Stomach, yeah, yeah, that is pretty hot. Um, what was your sidebar? Yeah, my sidebar was: Do you reckon when you're hot, you don't even need to like worry about any of this shit? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just takes all the hassle out of. So I'm stress free, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so yeah. you don't see me stressing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. That's like, that's like all of us to be hypothetical. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> all of us? For you guys. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm good. I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like, when you, that's the thing. You only attract the dicks. Kids. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. What did you say? You only attract the dick kids when you're hot. I mean, on both in both senses, men yeah. and women, when you're hot, yeah, do you not even have to worry about any of these dynamics? No, you have to worry about it, yeah. right? Because you're clearly not getting what you want. Yeah, you're getting what you're getting in return as a hot guy who's not. There's not much substance there besides the, the, the features, right? Yes. Um, but then we can't sit back and complain. Um, or like just people who aren't necessarily, you know, twelve out of tens. Yeah. So when you're at like a 10 to a 9 or 10, it's quite hard. It is, it is. You know what yeah, I mean? Please it? tell me. Yeah. Please yeah. tell me. Yeah. It's like when you're out to get hot, you can just go do what you want. You can chill. Like. When you're just like hot, just like us. Yeah. Like normal hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like off it. the rack hot? Off the rack yeah, hot? Yeah, you're yeah. off the rack hot. Like you, you're not like, you're behind the counter. Yeah. You're not over the counter. You're behind the counter. Exactly. But you're not at the, you know, back shelves hot. Yes, so you're, exactly. You're still hot, but you're like mid hot. So you still got to try a little bit. You still got to try a little bit. So that's why I'm, I can, you can't be mad that. When they say where's all the good men, it's like oh, it's, we're not doing our part. No, you're right. The only reason I said that is because um, there was a story about Gigi Hadid, his new boyfriend, just being like a random dude off the street. Like he was a builder. Like he's he was, not, you know, like he was just broke. Like not that much money compared to Gigi Hadid. Uh, you hear that, guys? It's Johnsy thinks yeah. all New Zealand builder broke. A broke. Blokes are broke. Hundred percent. I didn't say that. You literally said that. Yeah. I just said Gigi Hadid, his new boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, was broke. A broke builder. <laughs> but he was fucking gorgeous and so uh, do you know what i mean like shit was just playing out for him like it was going his way and they even like talked to him here he was on a um podcast and he goes yeah she would just pick up the tab yeah, that's where all the hot guys are the podcast they're doing podcasts exactly yeah. um yeah she was like he, she would just pay for dinner like pay for flights and stuff damn and all he brought to the table was being fucking gorgeous how did they even meet good ass question renovating her house or something? yeah, yeah, yeah it might have been might have been something like that yeah, so that, that's why I asked. Might just take the hassle out of it. Mm. So, so do you think there's still a mid, mid middle ground, or is it got to be the males are going to come back and? I think men can definitely up their confidence and and mm. some you know like you said some of the good men who are shy put themselves out there a little bit more and um, ladies maybe change where you're looking and what you're looking for. Right. Not not drastically. Obviously, don't settle. But you're allowed to like what you like, of course. But also, just be sure of what you like. Oh no, you're also allowed to figure things out. But well, you know yeah. what they say. What do they say? Six feet, six figures, six inches. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you know? So that's what they're looking for. Yeah. There we go. Um, what's the time at? Should we end it? Wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that, is that us? Yeah. Beauty, you got a, you got a song for me? Yeah, just you know, you keep doing your thing. Okay. Um, hey, thank you guys so much for listening. We really appreciate you all. Um, oh, if you if if you watch it on YouTube. Feel free to give it a subscribe because I know seventy percent of you don't subscribe, but you watch us. So like, hit that button, dude, if you want. You know, like we're trying to get, like, we're trying to give you like good episodes every week. But outside of that, it's been Maddie, Mouse, Johns. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. See you.